Hey, welcome back guys. Today we're taking a look at the newest version of Kotobukiya's model kit of the Nachin tank. This would be the prototype version. Not only does it have a cool new color scheme, a couple new cool new parts there on the kit itself, and it also has a new weapon to go along with it. So a very awesome new version of the kit. Let's go ahead and get right into it for today's review. Alright guys, let's start off by taking a look at the box and its contents here. I love the box art for this. So far what I can say, aside from these kits being really awesome kits, the box art for all the notching kits here from Kotobukiya have just been amazing. I love all the colorful paint splatters there going on as if it's in like a mock battle here considering this is the prototype notching, so I guess it's in like some sort of like weapons test phase kind of thing there. We've got the weapon that's going to be included with this one, speaking of, is going to be the freestyle rifle, I believe is what that's called. It's an MSG weapon that's available separately, it's not new. We will have some new parts in here, most notably the shoulders are going to be new, but really interestingly, in the background we've got a couple of other units that are a different mecha design there from Moisan, perhaps Kotobukiya hinting at uh, future possible releases of these guys as well, I don't know, that would be very cool. But yeah, love the box right here for this, it looks awesome, all the lighting effects, weathering effects, everything on there, that's beautiful. On the side of the box just got the same thing there let's go down here onto the bottom of the box here we can see how the kit is going to look all painted up front and back there with some new equipment on the back of the head there i believe as well we've got a look at how it looks in its action pose or sitting pose there with the hatch kind of opened up and the compatible parts there with the original shoulder armor i wonder if we're going to have that included in here as well i would imagine maybe so so you can build it like that if you want to we'll see oh yeah it looks like so here's the options so Got option parts there for the shoulders if you want to make them in the original format and then all the different parts of the gun and then some water side marking decals as well that's always great to see and over here is a look at how the unpainted kit is going to look just straight out of the box obviously not going to look quite as nice but still looks very cool i gotta say classic like cream white color with gray and orange accents always looks good there's the illustration right there and some information right here. The list price of this one being 4,200 yen from Kotobukiya. Go ahead and get this box opened up if I can. There we go. And there's our original shoulder armor right there. We'll take a look at all of the parts in just a moment. Let's go ahead and find our way to the manual first. Manual just got a nice big close-up version of what we've got on the front of the box there. That's very cool. Around here on the back side, I guess that's that same artwork just wrapped around the manual, very nice. On the inside of the manual here, we got an illustration there, very cool, also of the pilot, Natsuki there. Would really like to see pilot figures included in future sets, Kotobukiya, wink, wink, wink. I think that could be really cool because I do like Moi's character illustration there for the pilot, it's pretty interesting, but love that artwork. Down here, a little bit about the extended communication module, that's what's on the back of the head, the light armor there for the shoulders, the contact display on the front, the license plate prototype version there for the back, the hook base cover where you've just got these little pieces that will fit in to cover those hard points there around on the kit. And over here again just some images of what the kit is going to look like all painted up with some different MSG weapons parts added on there if you wanted to customize it a little bit with some other MSG weapons. Next page is going to have our parts list and then it's just getting into the construction. So we've got all of the construction until we get to the back pages here. And this is where we have our color guide and decal guide. So colors and decals are all laid out here for you, including there for the weapons, which mostly just gray, but obviously you could customize the colors with that a little bit if you wanted to. And let's also take a look at the water slide decal sheet. It looks very nice. You've got white and red for the primary colors of all the markings and everything. We do also have a little bit of black, a little bit of yellow on there and then your decals for the eyes so you have some very cool options for that like the error one this kind of like a boot up screen there for the eyes that's pretty cool so you have some really nice markings for this All right, we got a couple of things here bagged up our pre-printed part there for the face now you do have face option parts or par option parts there for the eyes where you can stick different water side decals on but this one is pre-printed for you the normal one that looks nice and then we have a long black wire that's going to be for the gun the shorter thicker white wire is going to be for the tail our mw17 runners here is all the parts for that msg weapon here again i think it's called the freestyle gun is what that's called but it's just on two runners there all in a just kind of 
dark gray color. Runner A here is going to be all in this off-white, very light cream color. It does look very nice. Same thing here for runner B and runner C, of which we have two of those, a bunch of finger parts on there. The runner D is in a kind of slightly tannish gray color, a warm gray. Compare that to runner E, which is uh, in a darker gray. We've got two of the E runner. And then compare that to a third tone of gray, a more kind of violet blue gray here for runner F with a bunch more internal pieces there. Runner G is in that same color. We've got two of the G runner for some more mechanical joint type parts. Runner H is in a dark gray, but again, it's a different color dark gray. So like here's the dark gray of runner E and then the dark gray of runner H. And you can see how even these are different. So we got a lot of different colors of gray molded here. And then runner I as well is going to be in a slightly different gray from all the different grays we've seen so far. So that gives us one more color. And lastly, runner J here for our shoulder parts in this very nice orange, obviously. Looks pretty good. All right guys, here is the kit all built up. Once again, looks fantastic. Love those new orange shoulders on it. Just the color scheme in general of this version looks really cool. Of course, I think it is gonna look a lot better once you do throw all those really cool decals on there. Maybe a little bit of weathering. And of course, the weapon that we have. So let's go ahead and get into it, talking about some of the accessories we got with this. For the notching itself, aside from these fingers, which each of which are on a single little ball joint, and also I should mention each of which are just two parts sandwiched together, so you will have seam lines on each of the fingers, which is unfortunate. You do also have parts that you can swap out for like your weapon holding hands. So this could be for holding our weapon that's included with this kit or whatever else you might want to use. So these are just parts you're just going to swap out right there in the hand. And like we saw in the manual, it does have the parts to make the shoulders of the regular version in like the same matching color. So if you wanted to make the original shoulders, you can do that if you didn't like these. But of course, you're probably going to want to use these new ones if you're buying this kit. We have the same little stand here that's just going to plug right into the bottom like that and works really well if you just want to just help it to stand with the tail also does that but if you wanted to have like the tail up or something doing something else then this stand can be helpful to just help us to stand because obviously with these tiny little feet it's a little bit top heavy you also have a few of these little like adapter pegs that you can use for plugging different weapons and accessories around onto the kit the many different hard points on here basically any one of these like small little panels that you see you can remove that and there's a hard point hidden underneath there right there on the side of the arm right there here on the front of the chest right there around here on the center of the back right there these panels up here are also hard points even going down here onto the side of the leg as well those are also removable panels there then you also have this handle which again you can just use with any particular weapon or accessory you might want to use if you have some gun that has like a different shape handle or something that doesn't fit into the hand of this one you can swap that out with this one and that will be able to work with your weapon holding hands you have included here as for the weapon itself here is how it's going to look in its full form and then you have this rubber tube going to this tank which will attach around onto the back you don't have to use that if you want and also should mention that the tube can be attached to the left or the right side and this little connection piece can swivel back and forth so that's versatile. The weapon itself also has some options. You can remove this long barrel and just make it like that which is how it appears on the box art or you can even remove that and make it even shorter. This back end you can remove that part. You can swap it out with just this short one here like that and then here on the top where that tube plugs in you can also put this piece in in replacement of that to just close that up like so. You have a couple other alternative parts here like this one, like that, which is pretty cool. Or this one, which again could be attached onto the left or the right side, no matter your preference for that, that fits on there like so. Or you could do something like this, which is just basically like an attachment piece. If you wanted to have this stored or just like attached onto somewhere, you can just use that piece like that. So you've got a lot of options with the gun, which is why, like I said before, it's one of my favorite MSG weapons. I really like that. As for the articulation of this, it's going to be basically the same like we saw with the previous version. But once again, you can lift up this front part here that slides down, opens up like that. You don't have like a detailed cockpit or something like that inside there. There is a little bit of detail, but there's not like a seat or something. But if you had like a 135th scale figure and you want have it like standing up in there sort of looking out I think that could look pretty cool this back panel here also opens up I should say so that all opens out oh like that which is really cool and close that back up slide that back down like that your pre-printed part there for the eyes looks really cool but as we saw again in the unboxing you have some different option parts for that especially in, with the decals I guess I should say that you can use other new parts here on the back this like uh, antenna can be rotated I guess like a little bit up and down if you wanted to maybe slightly change the angle of that I guess you could do that and it could help 
to give you maybe like a little bit different kind of expression with it, I guess. I don't know, but it could be kind of interesting changing the angle of that. It's a small little piece, but yeah, one of the things that I like so much about this kit is that having this in a larger scale compared to the original release of the Nachin is that you have some space for so much more little detail, like little detail parts like that up in the bottom of the feet. And of course, much more articulation with this, even though it, with it being a fairly small and simple design, it is pretty nicely articulated. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. So here it is, guys. We'll just wrap up the review here by taking a look at a few different poses with this kit. But uh, once again, I love the Nachin design. Kotobukiya really did a great job on this kit. You know, it's the same kit that we've seen now. This is the third version of it. And we have a fourth version, the police version on the way, which does look really cool. But if you've not yet checked out one of these kits, I highly recommend them. They're really awesome. A lot of fun. You know, small, simple, but they just have so much charm and personality to them. And then so much customizability with all the different weapons and stuff. So this one comes with a weapon that, you know, the weapon that it comes with is pretty highly customizable in itself. But obviously any of the other Kotobukiya MSG option parts, option weapons, things like that, option armor, whatever else you might want to use with this, there's a lot of possibilities with it, which is just another thing that makes it really fun. Aside from the weapon that you get with this, just the new parts being like the new shoulder parts, the new part on like the back of the head, it doesn't really add like a whole lot of new parts to the kit in general, but it does change up the design enough that I would say even if you already have the original version, I would still say that it still warrants getting another version of the kit, even though it's just a couple little new parts, it is really cool. That and the decal set with this is really awesome so especially if you're planning on painting the kit but even if not even if you don't plan on painting it you just want to put some of the decals on and that gives I think even more incentive to pick up this new version of it but let me know your guys thoughts down in the comment section below what do you think about this new version what do you think about the kit just in general and if you're interested in picking one up for yourself of course you can check it out at USA Gundam store I'll have the link down in the video description there for you guys I'll also in the video description put a link to Moi the artist who designed the Nachin tank I'll put a link to his Twitter profile you guys should go there and follow him you know stay up to date with the artwork that he's putting out. He does a lot of really great artwork and sketches and stuff there of some different mecha designs, stuff like this. But as always guys, thanks so much for checking out the video today. If you'd also like to like and or subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, hope y'all are having a good day. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.